hate two weeks is psyching Bob. Well, look where I am. I'm out at lunch. I'm at a great restaurant called Atlantis Restaurant. Check that out. It's a big happening crowd here, and I'm having the best time. Anyways, it's Wiccan Wednesday. Yay! Welcome to you guys. Thanks for being here. Um, for those of you who haven't seen, I did put out messages from the spirit world yesterday. I got it out late last night. So uh, if you go to the video queue right before this one, you'll see it. Anyways, here we are. It's time for lunch. I got Gigi with me here today. She came on this little adventure. And uh, I just pulled out of her this wonderful new book that I got. I want to share with you guys. This is a great mystical book. It's written by Olivia Robertson, who is a, I was a big fan of hers. She was the high priestess of the Fellowship of Isis, which is a, a spiritual order out of Ireland. No connection to the terrorist group. But this book is called Gaia, Initiations of the Earth. And within the Fellowship of Isis, there's an order of knighthood called the Noble Order of Tara. And this is the initiation rituals into that. And the Noble Order of Tara is an order of knights who are working on preserving the earth. And they attune to the great ancient Celtic goddess Tara, uh, who, according to Lady Olivia, is also an emanation of the goddess Isis. So I thought I'd read to you here a little section, so definitely check this book out. As we open it, you can see it has the title page here, Gaia, Initiations of the Earth. This artwork was done by Lady Olivia. She was a, a very talented artist. And um, besides being a priestess, she was an artist and a writer. She just died a few years ago. She lived to be 97. I really miss her. Um, I was a big fan. I hoped to travel to Ireland to meet her, but she passed away just like two years ago. And here it says, Liturgy of the Fellowship of Isis by Olivia Roberts. Well, Tubi's my lunch arrived. I got a chicken salad club sandwich here and some chips and iced tea. I took the tomatoes on my sandwich. I don't like tomatoes. But I got a nice iced tea and a club chicken salad club. It is so awesome. I'm making a dent in my lunch. We're trying to eat it. <laughs> Some kind of good. Mm. So, guys, I'm working on this book as I was telling you about, and uh, you can see here the table of contents. Uh, it's really nice stuff. It's got chapters the cosmic web design, the earth goddess, part one initiation of the elements, introduction, Tara and Lou, ordeal of the Don and treasures. Planetary Initiation, Introductions, Isis and Osiris, The Judgment, Fellowship of Isis Manifesto. So there's a lot of stuff covered in here. But I wanted to read to you this one section that I think you guys will really find fascinating. Um, and this is called The Earth Goddess. <clears throat> and it says, oh, hold on, i got to put on my glasses here. It says, I lapsed into unconsciousness and I descended through the earth and through time and through long memories of past lives. I, threw in, I fell through enveloping darkness and I reached flames of fire and bitumous green molten lake with strange inhabitants like nothing I had ever imagined. And I sank still further into unconsciousness but I still held a thread of memory until I sank below, even unconsciousness into death. And I passed a barrier and I was awake and I found myself within Earth's heart. And there before me in realms of glory was a goddess of surpassing beauty. Her hair shone golden like the sun and her robe was the deep blue of the sea and the greatness of her aura filled the earth and reached the stars she was brighter than a thousand suns and i felt a happiness i have not ever felt before or since for this was the mother of us all isn't that beautiful 
So that's the sort of energy and sort of style we'll find in this book. Anyways, as I said, I've just started it. I'm looking forward to studying it. And I'll definitely share my insights. But if you want to check out the Fellowship of Isis, um, I'll put the link in the website box, info box below. But this is the book this is from. It's called Gaia Initiations of the Earth, and it's by Olivia Robertson. I highly recommend it. Well, Tubies, I had the best lunch at Atlantis. Oh, that chicken salad was amazing. I tell you, it's like a spring day out here, and we're just having an awesome time. So I thought we'd do a little shopping. So come on along. Oh, look up there. Michael's Craft Store. <gasps> I think we're going to go in. Cake decorating, knit and crochet, jewelry making, art painting. Oh, I love that. Yarn and needle crafts, floral, scrapbooking and paper crafts, gifts to go. I'm telling you, this is the scene. It's the place to be. Let's go to Michael's. Down the yellow escalator we go. I'm having such a fun time. I love this store. I am crazy about it. Do you guys have a Michael's where you live? Oh, and we're greeted by Santa Claus down here. Look at this. Okay, we are in full-on Christmas mode right now. That's amazing. Oh, Isn't that wonderful? Look at that, guys. So much fun. <laughs> oh, they have glittery and sparkly stuff everywhere. I'm in a Christmas mode, or a Yule mode, or both. Oh my god, we got wreaths, we got flowers, poinsettias, gold and silver. It is all a sparkling. And here's what I'm looking for. Oh, they got a sale 50% off on these trees. Second Bob needs a tree. Oh, look at that. That little elf is climbing a tree. <laughs> it's cute as all. Oh my gosh, which color should I get, guys? We have red, we got gold, silver, or green. You know, I, I've had silver trees in the past. I've never had a gold tree or a red tree. I got a green tree. I might get a gold tree this year. Now that would be fun. You know, if you're near a Michaels or a craft store, you can also buy yarn. And for those of you who been wanting to join the Purple Core, the Order of the Purple Core, this is a great place to buy purple yarn. I might buy a skein here to make a cord. Now this is an interesting one. It's a mix of purples and blues. There's a dark blackish purple. There's a nice rich royal purple. All sort of colors here. There's a nice dark purple too. You know, purple can be more blue purple or more of a red purple. So you can you can make your pick. Oh, Tubies, look what I just discovered. A beautiful glass mermaid ornament. Isn't that beautiful? Look at her beautiful fishtail. Just sparkles. Absolutely lovely. Isn't that wonderful? Guys, and look what else I found. Statue of Liberty. Isn't that amazing? You know, all of us TIs need to, we need the Statue of Liberty in our lives. We have to invoke freedom, the goddess of freedom, Libertas. She'll save us in the end. I love it. Now that's a very positive, hopeful sign. You know, I think if you're going to have a tree and decorate, you want to have signs that inspire you, that uplift you. I think this is just beautiful. I found another treasure. Look at this. This is an old style of ornament. In the old days, it was a protection element. It's a witch ball. Sometimes it's called the protective eye ornament because it's like an eye. Oh, these are hard to find. This and this is all hand-blown glass. Ooh, second Bob's getting tipped. I could spend a fortune in here. Maybe I will. Oh, and look, here's a whole tub of beautiful sparkly stars, pentagrams. Isn't that lovely? How iridescent. I love it. Ooh, second Bob's in witch heaven here. TVs, I am finding amazing treasures. Check this out. Look at this, this beautiful Santa Claus. Isn't that wonderful? It's very pagan looking. I like that. 
kind of cold. He might go home with me. And then I was looking down here and I found some beautiful stars. Aren't these wonderful? They're magical pentacles. Just beautiful. Red, whites, and blues. Now that's beautiful. And look, here are the Magi, the three wise men. Now they were the original astrologers. And you guys know I'm crazy about astrology, so I think I might have to have the three wise men. It's pretty awesome. Oh, and it's 50% off. We're definitely shopping. Bins and bins of beautiful ornaments. I love it. You know, you see the magic is everywhere, but you just have to open your eyes. And you can see the mystical symbols and powerful magical charms all around us. But it takes eyes that are open to see it. Welcome to my little snow cabin. Come on in. Oh, Tubies, look what I found, this beautiful little Santa. Now, if this is not pagan, I don't know what is. Notice he's carrying the branch here with the ivy. This goes back to the pagan tradition of the ivy king and the oak king. And uh, you'll notice that he's wearing beautiful furs. He's an earth father, connects to the wild thing. This is related to the horned lord. And his basket is not filled with presents, but with herbs and plants. This is very much a green man sort of focused Santa. And I really like that. I think we should bring back Santa's pagan elements. I think it's great. I wonder how much he is. Let's, oh, here's the price. $15. Oh, he's beautiful. Do you think I should get him, guys? Let me think about it. That's a beautiful Santa, though. Oh, I tell you guys, I'm going crazy in here. I better get out here before I spend a million dollars. I've had so much fun. I think we're going to set a Yule altar today. Uh, Tubies, that was so much fun shopping. I tell you, the store was packed, but I had a great time. Luckily, I got everything stuffed inside Gigi here, my good old Gucci bag. And I even bought a Coke. You know, at the craft store, they have a cooler in the checkout line. <laughs> you can buy sodas. So I got a Coke. I'm not being endorsed by Coke, but I do love Coke. And look, they've got little snowflakes on the bottle. Isn't that cool? So I'm just sitting here. I've got my Coke, got my Gucci bag. It is so warm today. I'm not even wearing a coat. It's like California Christmas or something, even though we're in Washington, D.C. Anyways, I think we'll take a stroll along, see what else there is to see. So come on along. Hey, TVs, and say goodbye. Well, I got home and I just brought in my packages and I'm getting ready to set up my Yule altar. So come on along. Let's do it together. Well, I've been here debating which cloth to use. I had this beautiful rich green cloth on the altar, but I feel like switching it out. So I took this green cloth off and I put on this beautiful shiny silver lame. Isn't that beautiful? It's a light tissue lame in silver. I think it'll make a nice contrast with our other colors here. As you can see, I got my beautiful gold tree here and I'm unfolding it. You know, when you buy it, all the branches are folded up. So you got to go around. This takes the longest time because there are so many little branches within branches and you have to really take your time and look at it to, to get it opened right. Uh, you know, and there are a lot of times they're twisted up, but we're working on this little by little and we're going to get this tree looking good. Oh, and I think we've got our tree fluffed out nicely here. Look at that, that beautiful tree. And we're going to set our pagan Santa Claus here. What do you guys think? Don't you think this definitely has overtones of the, the green man and the holly king? I think it does. Look at that. Just beautiful. Here's my other little Santa. I think he looks particularly elf-like. <laughs> Well, you know, Santa Claus really is a pagan myth, and he's part of the elf kingdom. So here we are, and we're working on our little Christmas slash Yule altar. You know, the wonderful thing is for those of you who are in families that may not approve of Wicca or paganism, you can set an altar that looks actually very traditionally Christmas in the eyes of most people, and it's still very validly pagan. 
mean, after all, the whole Yule tree is a pagan thing. It comes from the old Druidic tradition of honoring trees. Uh, there's nothing in Christianity about decorating trees. It really is pagan. All of Christmas really is pagan. So I have fun with it. I was looking here at my little tree and I said, it doesn't have a tree skirt. I forgot to buy a tree skirt for it. I guess I could leave it out like that, but I thought, you know what? I'll make my own tree skirt. And I thought, what could I use? Well, I was looking at some swaths of fabric that I had, but they were too large. And then I stumbled upon this. This is an old vintage silk scarf that I have. This is a real scarf by Givenchy, who's one of my favorite designers. I'm crazy about Givenchy. And this is a vintage Givenchy scarf from the 1980s. And I thought, you know, the nice soft brown tones and the red go wonderfully with the gold. And uh, the silver and the brown look nice together. It's like a topish brown. So I thought, how many people have a Givenchy Christmas tree skirt? Well, you know, Psyche Bob loves to have the style, so we're going to have a Givenchy Christmas tree skirt. I bet you I'm the only person in America that has a Givenchy Christmas tree skirt. <laughs> There we go, guys. Our beautiful little gold tree is wrapped in Givenchy. Gold tree wrapped in Givenchy. I like that. That's got style. Now, you know, I think I'll put my Santa up here, too. Let's see how that works. Oh, it, the colors are great. Look at that, guys. It all matches nicely. Isn't that beautiful? Here's our Santa in his brown fur coat. By the way, it's fake fur, so no animals were used in this. So don't want no PETA people attacking me. And our brown tree skirt with our gold tree. Oh, it's looking beautiful. Looking beautiful. And what type of tree would be a proper tree without a little bit of lights? I happened to find this beautiful string of pentagram lights. So witchy is going to be my tree. I love it. And then we need one more thing. I think we need a crowning ornament. I found this tiny little tree topper. It's hard to find little ones. But I found a little one that just fits my tree perfectly. We're going to just put that on top. Look at that. I'm telling you guys, we are set. Well, I got my lights on my tree. I got my topper. And I got my little Santa Claus here. And you know, I think it's time we light the tree. And we're ready for light. Three, two, one! Yay! There's my little Yule tree. As you can see, the beautiful stars here, they're all illuminated on it. It's that beautiful little pentacles all the way around the tree and a shining silver pinnacle on top. I think silver and gold and white look beautiful together. There's our beautiful, proud, pagan Santa, our Holly King, and our Givenchy skirt. Isn't that beautiful? Well, guys, I'm so glad you came along with us on this adventure today. And uh, we're going to have more about the Yule Altar as we go along. This is just the beginning. I'm going to show you some more stuff in the coming days, some rituals and different things. But I'm so glad you're here. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. If you want to help me out, like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. I'd sure love you to be part of our scene. Listen, keep it here for, for more adventures. Tomorrow is Vlog Thursday, so we'll go out and have another adventure. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. Sending you blessings. And if you didn't see yesterday's video, check it out. It's in the queue right before this. We had messages from the spirit world. And for those of you who are new, that's where I do little mini psychic readings for everybody. So definitely check it out. And on Monday, we had horoscopes. So we got a lot here, a lot happening, and more to come. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And until then, may you blessed be.